Alrighty, hey there guys, Adrian Takasi here, aka JediBro95, coming at you guys with a, another gameplay for you guys with the Seahawks theme team. So, uh, this game we had to get a little bit sweaty against um, a typical, not typical MCS nerd, but a typical fucking meta player. Love to use his, um, you know, play a lot of sweaty shit, you'll see it in the gameplay. Uh, but overall, we played very well. Um, we had a very good game. Defensively, we really shined, um, you know, quite across the board with a lot of the players. You'll see them all in, in action. Uh, we did put Frank Clark in the game today. Uh, we put him at the other edge over Uchenna, and Frank Clark has been playing incredibly good. So I think we're going to keep Frank Clark at that edge. Uh, but overall, defensively and offensively, we had a really, really good game. Uh, on both sides and uh, I do know that we have the new DTK Metcalf coming out tomorrow rest assured gentlemen I will be sure to pick that up and I will be sure to make sh the, to have a gameplay for DK tomorrow but with that being said guys uh, let's get into the gameplay uh, against a basically a tryhard all right as my get into the game my opponent's top three is big play slate Dion and Aaron Rodgers mine is Tariq Dion and Quandre so uh, he starts off in dollar, as you see, first and 10. He goes right into dollar there. Uh, we were able to get the uh, a nice run there because Jason Kelsey was able to seal off his user inside with his nasty streak. Uh, second and inches here. Uh, we just take the quick flat right to Edrin James. Uh, this guy played a lot of cover zero. He played a lot of man blitz, or even like some zone blitzes as well. So uh, me personally, with my game plans, when I go up against these type of players... I just like to get the ball out of my hands as fast as possible. I don't try to hold out of the ball, but here we actually do. We do get stripped. However, there is a flag on the play. Uh, unfortunately, you see me getting upset because my offensive line, just nobody looks to get the ball, but it's an illegal contact and we keep the drive going. Uh, so first and 10 here, obviously he's going to run right to the running back. We take Greg Olson over the middle of the field on that. I want to say over the ball route is what it's going to be called. Uh, second and inches, we call the RPO out of the, out of the, out of the normal Y off week for the Seahawks. And let me touch on that actually, because I'm actually in the Seahawks offense now, uh, just for fun. Uh, like I probably won't stay in it because the Seahawks offense, I don't think it's as fun as the Packers, as good as the Packers, but it is fun. Like the Seahawks offense is fun. It has some unique takes on certain formations. Like for example, uh, bunch, like it has a very unique gun bunch where it has the ability, has like the tight end out, uh, split out wide, but, uh, we'll get to that in a minute. As you see here, he tries to throw up, uh, we call it cover six. He tries to throw it up, but Quandre, uh, not Quandre, but uh, Griffin bats that up in the air. Quandre comes down with the ball and we get a nice return out of it to the 29 yard line. So, uh, we're back on offense, and as I was talking about, Seahawks offense, they've got some unique takes, they got some good tight, uh, they've got a couple of good, uh, bunch sets, they got, like, bunch, uh, and, um, like, bunch Y flex, which is basically, like, gun bunch, but it has the running back, like, the tight end was the one that split out wide, and even then, he's more closer to the line of scrimmage, uh, and then we have, uh, a bunch wide, which basically is like the normal gun bunch, but it's out a little bit wider to the outs to the outside of where the hash marks is basically. Uh, and yeah, so you see right there on bunch wide flex, we call to the uh, end zone and we get a touchdown with Jerry Rice. And yeah, I was calling a lot of bunch this game, uh, just because of the fact that it just felt like it was the best way for me to get the ball out to quick flats as soon as possible, uh, because of the traffic that those defensive backs would have to go through. Uh, so second and 10 here, he actually does go, we go to two men under, he gets the angle route to uh, Walter Payton, so pretty good play by him there, but uh, we go to the next play here, um, I'm trying to use this corner route, it took me a little bit to actually fully realize what it is I needed to do to stop this uh, short side bunch corner, uh, it took me a little bit, but I was able to figure it out, but as you see right here, he got locked down, and uh, Frank Clark gets in the backfield, gets one of his three sacks this game, yes, Frank Clark had a game, boys um as i talked in the intro we put frank clark to uh our other rush end and i think it's actually been working a little bit better uh as you see right here walter uh walter payton fucking trucks got him shaquille griffin over and he gets a touchdown so that was a good play i'm not even gonna get mad at that that was a good play i was not expecting to make the tackle there i was hoping to hold up long enough mainly so that way he could we can get some reinforcements but obviously it was not the case uh first and 10 we try to get the quick flat again uh we go to jerry rice he gets tackled second and 11 here uh, we go to over the middle here. Uh, Derwin actually, his user follows the vertical, so we take uh, the 
Uh, dig route over the middle, so third and two. I don't know how I didn't get the first here, but it's okay. We go right back to the Greg Olsen, and we actually try to stay in bounds, but unfortunately, we stepped out. So, But it is what it is. First and ten, mesh concept here. Uh, Greg Olsen breaks the tackle. We take off for the first down, make a man miss, and uh, yeah, we call a timeout here because we stayed in bounds. So. Uh, but first and uh, first and ten here, uh, inaccurate, poor accuracy for some reason. I don't know what happened on that, but... Uh, I thought it was under pressure at the, when I when it first happened, but it didn't for some reason. It wasn't under pressure, but uh, second and ten, we take the quick out. Third and inches here, right about yeah, third and inches now. Um, go, we just again, we're trying to get the ball. We're just trying to play like ultra, like get the ball out of your hands. Don't don't hold on to the ball for longer than two seconds because otherwise you're taking a sack. Because that is literally what happens is if you do take if you do hold on to the ball um, more often than not, you're gonna take a sack and. That with these type of blitzes in less than two seconds. And that's just honestly how I play uh, against these type of players. I don't even try to make adjustments to block the blitz. I just look to the quick flats and just get it out of my hands. Because quite honestly, it's so dumb. Because it takes about 20 seconds of your play clock. You have to sit there. You have to ID the mic on one side. You have to block your running back or tight end. You have to shift your freaking line over to one side. And even then, at times, you still take a sack. So it really doesn't matter. Uh, as you see here, second and six, we go to the, he goes again, tries to throw the short side corner bunch, uh, but Griffin's there to play that. Um, the adjustment on that, guys, if you really want to know, if you do want to know and have no idea, uh, is to put the uh, short side, if he is calling, the person is calling a short side bunch and he loves those corners, uh, put the outside receiver on a inside, outside uh, cornerback in an, an uh, outside quarter. Uh, the outside quarters do actually play those corner routes a little bit better on short side bunches than it does on wide side. I don't know why, but they do. As you see right here, uh, we get ball went on the route, bounce off the sideline, and we actually kick the three. So, um, unfortunately, no touchdown. But, hey, two possession lead going into the second half. Uh, we see right here, Lawyer Malloy gets a nice knockout there. Uh, second and ten. Uh, here, uh, Roger steps up. He actually gets a nice ball down the seam. Cam was not in a place to play that, or he was more focused inside. So, uh, good play by him on that one, actually. Uh, so first and 10 from the 17, uh, obviously again, we're trying to, you know, hold the door a little bit, but I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. Cause I have a feeling I could get down the field and drive cause I've been doing it all game. Uh, but obviously, you know, a stop here would be nice, but as you see, we get, he tries the corner route again, but, uh, Quandre is there to break it up. Uh, once again, guys, I'm just going to tell you, Quandre is a very good card. If you have a Seahawks theme team or a Lions theme team and we're hesitant to pick him up, uh, because of his size, I'm going to just tell you guys, don't don't worry about that. Quandre plays very, very good, uh, but we do unfortunately give up a touchdown because uh, there was nobody over there to guard the corner. Uh, so third and seven here, obviously, again, just get the ball out of my hands now. Don't even worry about it. Like, you know, it sucks. I hate playing like this. I hate doing this shit because, quite honestly, it is very annoying to play this way. But, I mean, like... Again, I've I've said this I've said this a few times. You got to do what you got to do, like, you know, because blocking with the O line, like I'm just gonna work around that. I'm not even gonna bother with the O line and telling them how to block it, and I'm just gonna take the snap, get the ball out, and just get yards after the catch. Uh, so hey, he has no idea where to go with the user, so I just throw it to Edrin. We pick up a nice gain here. I'm 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 celebrating out of the end zone. Uh, again, I don't like doing that shit, but. It is what is it is what's being brought out of me is we get the nice flood concept we get Devin Hester in the corner in the uh, sideline near the corner of the end zone so we take a two possession lead because we actually did go for two and pick it up so we take a two possession lead so uh, third quarter here obviously trying to make sure that we don't give up anything Cam that gets a nice knockout there luckily Cam Chancellor I don't have deep out I don't have deep KO on Cam uh, Randall gets a hit on Rogers as he throws it so. Uh, third and ten here. Uh, we call a man. We call a cover one man. He had no idea, and we actually get Frank Clark to sack um, on that coverage. You know, swapping a man coverage every now and then not a bad idea. Fourth and sixteen, he overthrows his tight end, and we're back on offense to, um, on the twenty-four with just under twenty seconds, with just over thirty se under thirty seconds remaining. So you know, go to gun dudes close. Nice crossing route from Jerry. Uh, so we're back again. We're continuing on here. 
Uh, we got Baldwin on the jet pass here. So, yeah, like, honestly, I'm just, tr like, at this point, I'm kind of low. I'm not necessarily fucking around, but I'm trying to make sure that, like, I know for a fact, like, a touchdown is ultimately the end of the game. It is, like, game over. He's done. Uh, but I also, at this time, I just thought it wouldn't be the worst idea to settle for three. So we just hand it off to Adrian. Don't bother taking a sack or a strip fumble or throwing, potentially throwing an interception. We just take the yards and get the, um, points. So set, we're up by 17. This is basically, is just game at this point. Um, Frank Clark, again, he's got nothing. Frank Clark, again, gets his last sack of the game. As I said, Clark went nuts. He had a very, very good game. Third and 12 here. We get... Uh, Walter Payton out of the, he gets Walter Payton out of the backfield. We do get a nice cut stick there from, uh, I think that was Dion. I want to say that was Dion. Uh, but fourth and four goes to Darren Waller on, you know, again, another cut stick. Uh, that's a great way to avoid tackle battles if you're not very good at them or you just hate doing them every single game. Uh, just do cut sticks. Uh, you will definitely, you'll not have to worry about, um, doing the tackle battle. You'll go right for the legs and you'll be good. Um, so... I definitely would recommend that. So, second one here, we go to a cover two. Uh, we actually do give up the uh, deep peep, the deep play here. But again, Quandre is back there. He breaks it up. I'm telling you guys, if you have a Lions or you have a Seahawks theme team, give Quandre a try. Uh, he is very, very good. Griffin is just a little bit short to get there with his KO. I was really hoping he would knock that out. But Griffin doesn't get there quick enough. Uh, and he does score right here with Walter Payton. So, uh, but as I said, it was basically GG's. Like, he just, he tried an onside kick. He actually ended up getting an illegal touching with the onside kick. And that's basically where the game ended. I just ran the ball a few times. Uh, really just milked the clock. Like, it, at this point, as I said, game is over. It really doesn't matter uh, at, you know, how the rest of it goes. He actually does get a nice shed right up the A gap. But, you know, it's five seconds left. That's basically how the game ended. So as you saw, we had 300 plus, we had 250 some odd yards and, three touchdowns with Russell. Uh, but I hope you guys did enjoy. And if you guys did, hit the like button below and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Uh, as I promised, I'm ho hopefully I'm going to get that DK Metcalf gameplay for you guys tomorrow. Uh, but I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.